hello everybody! Welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library Storytime Live. My name is Miss Wendy and thank you for coming to Storytime today. Did you see that? I said thank you. That is thank you in American Sign Language. Thank you for coming to Storytime. Isn't that cool to be able to talk with your hands? Yes! You see that? I'm knocking my hand and I'm shaking my head. That's also sign language for yes. Thank you and yes. Those are two important words. So I'm so glad you could be here because we're gonna have fun reading books about squirrels. Okay, I'm a little bit obsessed with squirrels right now because I see them all over the place and they are busy, 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 busy. And so I thought, what are they doing? Let's find out what all, what. What do they get up to? What are they so busy doing? But before we do that, let's do our hello song. Okay, so this also uses sign language. So the first part is hello. So you would do this with your hand to say hello. And then friends are two fingers and they give each other a hug, just like that. That's how you say friends in sign language. And then it's time, point to your watch, to say hello. Okay, we're gonna do it twice. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good. So, course, we've got to move around a little bit and get ourselves pumped for books about squirrels. That's all I'm going to say. That's the only way you can be about books. I like to always get warmed up and my favorite song to do that is Wake Up Feet. So here's how it goes. We're going to start at the bottom of our bodies and we're going to wake it all up all the way to the top. Okay, so let's start with our feet and we're going to wake up our feet by wiggling them. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Very good. Okay, let's wake up. Let's wake up our knees. Wake up knees. Wake up knees, <laughs> wake up knees and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up knees, wake up knees, wake up and wiggle in the morning. It's kind of hard to wiggle your knees. <laughs> I should, it should be wobble. <laughs> so, okay, what should we do for our third one? Okay, I got it. Shoulders. Wake up shoulders. Can you roll them? Wake up shoulders. Wake up shoulders and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, how does that feel? Feeling good? Okay, well, before we read a story, I have to ask, of course, this first question. Are you ready? Are you ready for a story about squirrels? Nuts about squirrels? Are we all nuts about squirrels? I am. <laughs> okay, so if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Now we stomp our feet. Ready? If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Okay, last one. And we're going to sit real still so that we're ready to read. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a 
a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Cool. I like holding still. Just for a minute, just breathe. Okay, last thing. Let's take some deep breaths. First finger and thumb. Breathe in. Breathe out. Middle finger and thumb. Breathe in. Breathe out. Third finger and thumb. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pinky and thumb. Breathe in. Breathe out. And thumbs up because you're feeling good and you're ready for books about squirrels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thank you for doing that with me. Did that feel good? Yes. Yes, that felt good. <laughs> okay, so here's my first book. Now, I can relate to this book. I can relate to this book because it's about a mama and about a squirrel. Can't re I can't really relate to the squirrel part, but I can, but I can relate to the mama part. So let's see what this mama is going to do. It's called Oh Mama Squirrel by David Ezra Stein. <clears throat> Have you ever listened to the sounds that a squirrel make? Because sometimes you can hear them in the trees. Oops, I forgot to say. This book is bought to us by Nancy Paulson Books, which is an imprint of Penguin Group. Oh, Mama Squirrel had raised her many babies. Mark my words, she'd say. There's no shortage of creatures that would love to snack on a baby squirrel. But it won't happen on my watch. Whenever danger approached, Mama Squirrel went into action. Chook, 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 she'd say. Get away from my babies. Chook, chook, chook. Get out of my tree. No one could scold like old Mama Squirrel. The cat or owl that ran afoul of her would slink off looking for an easier meal. One day, while the babies were taking a nap, a noisy dog came sniffing around. I think she sees him. Mama Squirrel chattered in the high branches. Chuk, chuk, chuk. She chattered in the low branches. Chuk, chuk, chuk. <laughs> she scrambled right side up and upside down while she scolded that dog. Chuk, 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 chuk. Boom. Wow, that is a fierce looking squirrel. <laughs> this squirrel is crazy, said the dog. They must put crazy powder in the nuts around here. Help! I guess I won't. And that takes care of that, said old Mama Squirrel. Mama Squirrel did not limit herself to known predators. She scolded kites, chook, 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 and airplanes, chook, 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 chook. <laughs> She even scolded the man who came to prune the tree. Chuk, chuk, chuk. <laughs> and that takes care of that, said old Mama Squirrel. One afternoon, while the babies were having a scamper on a high branch, a great growling grizzly bear came to town and climbed into Mama Squirrel's tree. Mama Squirrel sprang into action. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Get out of my tree. Chuk, 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 chuk. Get away from my babies. She clattered in the high branches and she chattered in the low branches as she scolded that bear. And she pelted him with last year's nuts. Plonk. The bear was so shocked, but then he laughed. Look at how he's up there and they're down there. Wow, why should I listen to one puny little squirrel like you? I'll eat your whole family's in the tree. At, 
A twitch of fear went through old Mama Squirrel's whiskers. What do you think she's going to do? But then she clenched her jaw. Not on my watch, Buster, said old Mama Squirrel. She scooped up her babies and she went to raise the alarm. Ooh, what does that mean? Raise the alarm. Chuck, chuck, chuck. By the fire escape. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Under the tracks. Chuck, 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 chuck. In the tops of the trees. Chuck, chuck, chuck. All over the park. The grizzly was just sticking his nose into Grandpappy Squirrel's nest hole when old Mama Squirrel got back. Chuck, 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 said old Mama Squirrel. Chuck, 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 said 20 other Mama Squirrels. Chuck, 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 said 100 more Mama Squirrels. And they scolded him high and they scolded him low and threw old nuts at him until he ran away and never came back. Oops. And that takes care of that. The people of the town were grateful to old Mama Squirrel. They even put up a plaque on the spot where she scolded that grizzly. If you're ever in town, you should go see it. Chuck, chuck, chuck. If you can get anywhere near it. Don't forget, old Mama Squirrel's there. You don't want to mess with her. She's serious. And mamas do come to the rescue. I'm just going to say that. Anyway, I really like this book. It's very fun. So let me put this one back. And next up, I wanted to sing a song. So this, let me see if you can guess what song this might be or what this might be about. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. What are they? They're squirrels. So it's a little hard to tell. My squirrels aren't maybe the clearest, but but there they are, and there's five of them. So yeah, this song is called Five Little Squirrels. Now to start, I'm going to take them off, and then we'll count together, okay? And here is the big old tree. Oops, uh-oh, there goes the big old tree. Let me just straighten that out a bit. Good. Okay, so here's how the song goes. It's like we're singing five little ducks, but we're gonna sing it about squirrels. So the first line is one little squirrel went out to play up in the branches one autumn day. He had such enormous fun. He called another squirrel to come. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. One little squirrel went out to play up in the branches one autumn day he had such enormous fun he called another squirrel to come so we've got one there and now two little squirrels went out to play up in the branches one autumn day he had such enormous fun he called another squirrel to come. All right, we've got one, two, what's next? That's right, three. Three little squirrels came out to play up in the branches one autumn day. They had such enormous fun. They called another squirrel to come. All right, now we have one, two, Three, what's next? Four, that's right. Four little squirrels came out to play. Oh, up in the branches on one autumn day. They had such enormous fun. They called another squirrel to come. All right, now let's count them. One, two, three, four squirrels. Okay. Last one. Can you guess what it is? Right, it's five. Five little squirrels went out to play up in the branches one autumn day. They had such enormous fun. They called no other squirrels to come <laughs> because I don't think any more squirrels would fit. Let's be honest. So there they are. Let's give them one last count. One, two, 
three, four, five. Very good. That's a fun song. Five Little Squirrels. Okay, here's the next book. Nuts to You. So this is a fun little book. Again, trying to think about what are these, what are these little creatures getting up to? So, move my card here. Nuts to You, and this is by Lois Ellert. Let's see. This comes to us by Harcourt Brace Jovanovich Publishers. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. Ooh, I, yeah, I understand that. I'll wait a while. He could be shy. Or maybe he likes it way up high. Look, here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. Look, he's got a peanut. And these flowers are begonias. And these are impatience. Aren't they beautiful? He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. Oh, yep, he's got a bulb. That's a tulip bulb. A tulip bulb is what the seed that the flower comes from. There he goes, up the bricks on his claws. He steals seeds and he eats with his paws. Look, that's an American goldfinch. Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. Look, monarch butterfly, and this is a tomato plant. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. Now let's see, here's petunias. I opened my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen had a tear. Where's the tear? Oh, there it is. There's the little tear. When I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. Plenty of stuff. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk, and left a few more. Dandelion plant. There's a dandelion. Come on. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk and left a few more. Look, there are the peanuts. And there's the dandelion plant. Nuts to you, I shouted loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. There's a house finch. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. He ate all those nuts, then scampered away. But he'll get hungry again someday. Think he'll be back? I'll keep nuts in my pocket, one or two. And when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you! <laughs> the end. It's interesting. There's a lot of really cool, you know, interesting facts about squirrels. And I'm getting ready to show you a craft. So let me put my camera down. This will take just one moment. <clears throat> uh, hi, everybody. Um, I have a question. I We're talking about squirrels. And, well, I don't know a lot about squirrels. Is that a problem? <clears throat> well, well, I am the resident squirrel here at the Rockbridge Regional Library story time. You might remember me. I'm the one who does awesome songs and like super funny jokes. Well, I do know everything about squirrels. So would you like to know a couple cool squirrel facts? 
Uh, yeah, for sure. Then I can go tell all my friends at the pond. Okay, fact number one. There are 238 kinds of squirrels out there in the world, all over the world. What? That's amazing. Who knew there were so many different types of, well, you. I know, super cool, right? Okay, you ready for the next fun fact? Um, yes, I'm ready. Lay it on me. Look at these teeth. Did you know that these teeth never stop growing? Never stop growing? Yes, they never stop growing. Well, how come they don't go all the way down to the floor? Well, that's because I chew on them all the time. I'm chewing and chewing and chewing and gnawing and gnawing and gnawing and chewing and gnawing and chewing, chewing, chewing and gnawing and gnawing and chewing. <sighs> you get the picture. That keeps my teeth short. Wow. That's super, super cool. Okay, I actually have a question. What do you call your babies? Oh, yeah, our babies. <gasps> our babies. They're so cute. We call them kits. K-I-T-S. Kits. Kits! Yeah, kits! Kits, 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 kits. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> well, I suppose we better get going. I think Miss Wendy's back. All right, see you later. Bye, bye. Okay, so let's see. I have a project here for you guys to do at home. Now, I'm going to see if I can show you how to do this with one hand. <laughs> so if you see in the notes on this post, in the information, there will be a link there where you can download a PDF to help with this. Now this is what we're going to make. Our very own little squirrels. I mean, look at how cute. Don't mess with my babies. Okay. So what you need to do is you're going to download the PDF that is right here below and you will get this. Step one, you're gonna color the entire rectangle and the body of the squirrel. Now you need to make sure you color all the way to the sides and then that way it goes all the way around and then you're gonna to wanna to color in his nose, his acorn, his hands, his paws. So all you need is some crayons, brown, red, tan, and then, of course, you're going to need a toilet paper roll. This is going to be the body. And once you're done coloring, be sure to color the two ears and tail. And then you're going to cut these things out. And you're going to cut the ears out. And then you cut the entire rectangle out. Then you'll need a glue stick. And you will glue the sheet around your toilet paper roll, just like this. And then you're going to cut out and glue on the little ears, glue on the little eyes, and glue on the tail. Now the tail, if you cut the paper in half at the bottom, you'll see there's a dotted line there. That'll give you something to glue so that his tail sits out. So again, if you look in the link below, you will see a link to download this PDF. This is a really fun way to repurpose your toilet paper rolls. So if you try this at home, send me a picture. I'd love to see your little squirrels. All right, we've got one more book. Let's see here. Let me put this to the side. Here is our last book. The Busy Little Squirrel. Now, squirrels are busy. I just see them running here, running there, running everywhere. Okay. The Busy Little Squirrel by Nancy Tafuri. This is by Simon & Schuster, Books for young readers. Leaves are falling. The air was getting cold. That's like it is for us right now. It was time for Squirrel to get ready for winter. Squeak, squeak, said Mouse. Will you nibble a pumpkin with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. What do you think he's so busy doing? said Bird. Will you rest on a branch with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. 
Croak, croak, said Frog. Will you hop rocks with us? But Squirrel couldn't because he was so busy. Meow, meow, said Cat. Will you lie in the sun with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful acorns. Woof, woof, said Dog. Will you run in the field with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Look at him hard at work. Hoo, 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 called Owl. Will you watch the moon with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was fast asleep. The end. He worked so hard. But look, it all worked out because he is ready for the winter. You know, some squirrels will bury their nuts and sometimes they can't find the nuts again. And that's when some of those seeds sprout a tree. So a lot of the trees that are here today are because squirrels buried nuts long ago, which is awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Let me get my camera back on. Thank you so much for joining me at Storytime. Now, don't forget, got to wash your hands. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between in between rub them all together rub them all together now they're clean squeaky clean okay well, we'll be right back here tomorrow at 10 30 for more stories and fun about squirrels which is so awesome but until then until then see you later alligator in a wild crocodile Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye, see you tomorrow.